Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Okay, y'all, we got Brianna on a video where she went on somebody's live and she's upset, crying, and she's telling her side of the story, but what stood out to me was she said her way of moving on, getting over a person basically, is exposing them which is real messed up because if that's your only way to get out of a relationship tearing somebody else down putting a business out there and telling everything that they ever confided in you in or lying on the person as if you know like she did her ex-husband that ain't cool like if you're done just walk away but she admitted her way of letting go is exposing a person because in her eyes once she exposed she knows she's not gonna look back no once you expose they ain't looking back that's how that go. But I want y'all to take a listen to this live and just comment below and let me know what y'all think. Um, as I said earlier, I don't feel like no woman deserved that hurt and pain. But what do y'all feel? Because now she's she's breaking down. She's now she's the victim and she's she's upset. She in her feelings. What do y'all really think about this situation? Comment below. Bye. Because I see people like in the comments like. Don't come to the internet for stuff, right? At the same time, I was loud and putting him on the pedestal. I was loud and praising him and giving him his accolades. But I can't be loud in my hurt. I can't be loud in everything that I suffered. I can't be loud in everything I endured in the relationship. But I can be loud in... In, in promoting his his shows i can be loud in promoting how good of a man he was in the beginning i can be loud in showing his work and i can be loud and promote his products but y'all trying to tell me that i can't be loud in the person who stabbed me in my back over and over again after being there ten toes down after sacrificing myself over and over again i went back and forth on for myself for a minute Say, you know what? I want to save him. I, I told Maine, I told my therapist, told my friends. I said, I feel bad. I just want to save him. And it wasn't my place to save. But I realized that, realized that I messed up in taking accountability for both people for their actions that they done to me. It was never my fault for nothing that happened to me in my marriage or this relationship. But I take accountability for those people. And it's messed up that I'm judged and dragged for just being naturally human and standing 10 toes down, even though I'm not wrong, trying to save people that I love. People who took it you, you came in a vulnerable place and made it seem like you was this perfect person for me. You was never going to hurt me and do the same thing. But then you turn around and do the same exact shit to me that somebody else done to me. And I had to stay in silence and not say nothing because of what people go say. But at the end of the day, it's like, at least y'all can talk shit about me all day long. Y'all can drag me all day long. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. But at the end of the day, y'all can't say that I ain't never stand in my truth. And I ain't never protect nobody that I love. And the people that attack me, I can come on here and attack them all day long. But my spirit and my heart... Is what keep me from doing that. Because I say, oh, this is just part one. I ain't done yet. But my spirit, like, nope, that's enough. You done enough. Don't keep going. So I don't care who don't got respect for that. I don't care if people want to talk about me to the day I damn die. I don't give a damn. But one thing for certain is I am a good person, period. I ain't never done nothing wrong to nobody. Everybody I come in to meet, I'm trying to be there for everybody that... I talk to, I'm trying to be helpful. You need help with this. You need to learn this. You need to do this. I don't be trying to charge nobody no money for nothing. I am just genuinely loving to everybody that I come into place with. So, yes, maybe it was too soon to jump into a relationship, but I jumped into the relationship so that I can hurry up and make a point to this person that I don't want my ex. As much as it seemed like, oh, I'm going back and forth because I, oh, you seem like you're going back and forth with your ex because you want them. I had to prove a point. So it was either jump into a relationship and make it public so he can feel secure in a relationship and that I didn't want my ex or say nothing. And do this entire time, it's been let me make this person feel secure 
all while the time I sacrificed my old self. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on and say that because I've seen a lot of people like start breaking stuff to the internet. Well, hell, if I was loud and giving you your accolades and promoting your businesses and your products and making it seem like you was this great, amazing person on the pedestal, I could be loud when you stab me in my back too. And for me, my my part of releasing somebody is when I do expose them. Because once I expose them, this applies pressure for me to never look back. And that's what last night was. Last night was me releasing everything with that relationship. Because if I would have not did that live, I would still be in this roller coaster today. I would still be, okay, what you want? All right, let's fix it. All right, let's do this. All right, no more. Enough is enough. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm tired of saving and protecting everybody else while Brianna is not getting saved. Who's going to save Brianna if Brianna don't save herself? I don't care about nobody else's opinions. I've been getting messages all day long from different women all over the world who said, thank you for your posting. Thank you for saying this. Thank you for what you did last night. I left my six-year abusive. I left my six-year cheating relationship. I left this. I left that. I am inspiring women, and that's what God got me here for. God got me here for my voice, and God taking me through all of this for a testimony to help other women across the world. So I don't care how many people judge me, how many people talk about me, how many people drag me. At the end of the day, I have an assignment, and that assignment is constantly being done every day, every day through my pain, through the things that God is taking me through. I am inspiring somebody else. So that's fine. Drag my name. Enjoy, because somebody going to come across the video and be inspired once they come back to my page and see, you know what? She's still smiling. She's still going. She's still fighting. She's still doing what she need to do for her and her kids, and she's not letting it stop her. And she's not trying to stay with no man just to say she have a man. And she's not settling for less just to be just because she having twins with a man. Oh, and then the favorite thing is, oh, she trapped him. Trap what? That man ain't a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, nothing. I make more money than all my baby daddy. So y'all can stop saying somebody got trapped. Please. Well, guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Don't forget to support your black-owned businesses. Visit ours in the link below.